go. Hi, Flora. Where have you been? Well, Spike, I was going to ask you the same thing. Me? Well, I've just been hanging out by myself. Oh, I get it. You've been self-isolating. What's that? Self-isolating is when you stay away from others so you don't give them your germs. Germs? Why is there so much talk about germs? Because germs are like enemies. They sometimes attack us and make us sick, and we can't even see them because they're invisible. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure I don't have any of those germ things. <laughs> well, everything has germ spike. But even if you don't believe that, why are you social distancing? What is social distancing, Flora? Social distancing is when you make sure you give others lots of space around you. Oh, I always give others lots of space. Is that why you hang out by yourself so much? No, I, I always hang out by myself because God made me that way. And all my porcupine family, too. We just like being alone most of the time. Oh. Well, then, am I getting too close to you, Spike? Well, that's up to you, Flora. Who do you mean by that? I'm dangerous. Oh, so you do have germs. No, Flora. I have quills. Oh, so you do. But, but, Spike, I don't see any feathers attached to your quills. Oh, only birds have feathers attached to their quills, Flora. Stop right there. Whoa, you scared me. You're touchy today. No, I'm not touchy. I'm dangerous. So you better not touch me. Dangerous? No, Spike, not you. Yes, I'm dangerous to anyone who comes too close to me. Well, I don't believe that. I like you, Spike. Well, you might like me, but you better believe it. Because you won't like my quills. They're as sharp as needles. Needles? Ooh, I don't want to get poked. You'll get more than poked, Flora. You'll get stuck. Stuck? What do you mean, stuck? Well, when you get too close, my quills will get stuck in you until they get pulled out. <laughs> and it'll hurt. Uh, will you? Quills reach out and grab me? No, but the end of my quills have hooks on them, and that's why they get stuck until they're pulled out. Why is that? Well, because that's the way God made me and my quills. Well, do your quills hurt you then, Spike? You got lots of them sticky right in you. <laughs> no, they're part of my coat. God gave them to me for defense against my enemies. Sort of like a weapon. Oh, I know about enemies, Spike. I've got them too. Well, we all have enemies. And we all have to watch out for them. Yeah, that's for sure. You know, Spike, sometimes I wonder if people have enemies. Sure they do. Well, what do they look like? Oh... Uh... Most of the time, they're like those germs you were talking about. They're invisible enemies. They can't be seen. Well, that's scary. Yep, but people don't always use the right weapon or the right medicine. The right medicine? Against enemies? Sure. The best medicine a person can have against an invisible enemy is God's Word. The Bible. But Spike, the Bible's a book. It's not medicine or it's not a weapon either. Wrong. What? Well, the Bible says that God's word is good medicine. And it's also like a sword, only sharper. Well, how does that work, Spike? Does it kill people? No, but God's word goes right into people's hearts. But instead of hurting them, it heals them like medicine. 
Yeah, but what if they're not sick? Oh, everyone is sick. Everyone, well, everyone needs to be changed. And you're saying that the Bible changes people? Yeah, the Bible changes people so they know the truth. Truth about what? Oh, the truth about Jesus. Oh, I believe the truth about Jesus. In fact, I believe everything that God says. Good. You should always believe God, but some people don't. What? Are you saying that there are some people that don't believe God? Why, that's crazy. No, oh, crazy, Flora, but it's true. But, but how could people not believe God? He loves the world, Spike. Yes, he does. And that's why God gave people the Bible. So they could read about him, learn about him, and know him. So, so if God gave people a special book, then they could count on it to be true. You're right, Flora. When people believe God and what he says in the Bible, that's like having the best medicine. And he showed his love best at Easter. At Easter? Remind me how God showed his love at Easter, Spike. Well, that's when we remember that God sent his son Jesus into the world. Jesus died for everyone's sins. Those wrong things people do. Oh, oh I remember that, Spike. But I also remember that Jesus didn't stay, stay dead, now did he? No, Jesus did not stay dead. After three days, he came alive again. And he is still alive in heaven today. And he still loves people and still wants them to come to him and be part of his family. Guess what, Spike? People don't ever have to social distance from Jesus. Oh, in fact, the Bible says that when people belong to Jesus, he is closer than a brother. He helps them fight enemies, even the invisible ones. Well, that's the best news I've ever heard. Me too. Hey, let's sing about it. Sure. Germs, 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 germs abound everywhere, everywhere you go. But Jesus is around you too. He'll defeat your foes. True, 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 for sure. Jesus died for you. Then he came alive again, and we know it's true. Good song, Spike. But you know, it's time for me to head home now. i got to run. Yeah, me too. Well, thanks for being my friend, even if we have to social distance. For sure. Bye, Spike. Bye, everyone. Yes, goodbye, Flora. We'll see you another time.